Alright guys, this is my how-to video on how to make plow wings. Um, I got a straight blade, seven and a half foot boss. I had wings on it last year. I took them off because they were wrecking my blade because of the design. And the plow sucks without wings. So this is what I got. I went to the local steel shop here where I live <coughs> and I bought some quarter inch thick by eight inches wide flat bar stock and that's what I'm gonna start with for making my wings I'm gonna copy this design from Moss Man that I saw on YouTube I like the way they look I like the way they go on and that's what I'm gonna make Okay, the first thing I did is I had them guys shear off this in 12 inch pieces. So what I ended up with was an 8 inch by 12 inch. And I guess what I want to do is I want to start it behind this little lip here because I don't want anything that's coming off the blade to interfere with, with the, something sticking out. So we're going to go behind it and I don't know what Moss Man did, but that's what I'm going to do. And we'll start it up enough to where the rubber will be the cutting edge. And at this point, it's just kind of eyeball. So whatever looks good to you. I want to line up the first brace that I'm going to have to cut into this rib, which will be the receiver. So right now, I'm just going to eyeball this piece where I think it's going to kind of go. At this point, things are pretty forgiving still, so don't worry too much. But, you know, somewhere in there is about the metal, or the middle, excuse me. And I'm just gonna kinda score a little line roughly where that uh, bottom section of the wing is gonna kinda go. So we got the lateral lines, now for the vertical one here, we're gonna grab the grinder and try to make a good score and then we'll just try to wiggle it out of there. These uh, little air grinders don't have a lot of juice to them. Um, I do have a, a DeWalt four and a half inch that would be really fast, but as far as this, I mean, I just wanted to kind of get a score in there just so I could do this part of it here and try to get a clean break out of it. And that is pretty clean. So what will happen here now is that will go in there flush with the outside of this rib. We'll weld it to the inside there, which is going to be quite a bit of support. This is the first one for the bottom wing, and you know, no measurements so far. It's just kind of going by eye, the angle that I want. I, I kind of want an aggressive angle because that's just the way I like it. Um, it'll hold a little more snow. I don't use it as a bulldozer, but. I do like to keep uh, as much snow in the, in the uh, blade as much as I can. So I, you know, I don't know, whatever you guys think, that's probably close to a 45, so. And that's what I want, so that's what I'm doing. Here's uh, the system so far. It works out very nice. This will slide right in there, and this will be the cross brace for the bottom section of the wing. When I I'm going to kind of line up where I want the rubber edge to be and uh, get this welded onto that bottom plate. Perfect. Love it. We got probably, I don't know, four or five inches there where we'll put that rubber for the scraper on the bottom. And the front. That looks really good to me. And then we'll take this piece here. We'll kind of get it mocked up and we'll have to trim the top because that corner up here wants to hit. So we'll, we'll take that at an angle and this one will come in. You know, we'll, we'll angle it down here. And once we get that angle figured out how we want it, 
probably something kind of like so. Can you give you an idea? Um, we'll tack that on there and then we'll work on that top brace. Okay, I've uh, I've been going at this several hours this morning, but uh, we're on the tail end of the one side, and I'm really happy with it. The only thing we got left to do is to put that receiver in the top of the rib now, so that we can uh, have two anchor points for that wing to go in. But here's what we got so far: uh, we got we got the receiver in this one. We need to we need to put one up here. To support that top wing, which will it'll be the same thing. Um, here's the wing so far. It looks really good. Um, these are two pieces. It goes in there nice. And uh, here's about you know the profile of the angle. You know you don't need a whole lot, just enough to take that top edge and scoop it back in there. So that uh, is going to work out good. And. Uh, yeah, everything's coming together nice. And like I said, you know, now that one side's almost done, getting the other side is not going to be near the challenge because I'll have my patterns written down. But uh, I'll kind of show you guys here how it goes in there, and and it, I, I like it. it. It works out nice. So we'll have a receiver on the top also, but you know, it's going to be. Pretty much right there is going to be home, and uh, I'm using this because the thing's hotter than hell from welding on it. But uh, you know, we got about four, four or five inches here where the rubber scraper will go, and uh, yeah, it uh, it looks really good on there. Actually, I'm very, very happy with it. You can see, like I said, I kind of wanted an aggressive angle. But yeah, it. Uh, I'll show you the angle here. You can kind of see how, you know, if, if it goes up over the wing there, it's going to throw it back into the blade, so. And the rubber will go all the way down for a cutting edge. And, yeah, that's one side there. All that's left is to cut this rib, put that receiver in here, and weld our bar that'll slide in the receiver there, and paint it up, add the rubber on the bottom, and this side is done, and... The other side will be much, much easier. Okay, we got both uh, the set made. And uh, the only thing we got left to do is drill and put the pins in, which I will do later. But uh, came out pretty good, looks nice, I'm happy with it. You can see you got the, uh, the two receiver hitches in here. And, you know, they're just kind of welded... Uh, welded flat on that end and then this end here they're just able to accept that and when I cut the rib out like I said before I added the little chunk and then just sawzalled it off so that there's a, a hole in that rib there or a big gap but there's the uh, finished product two wings uh, they're 12 inches each Adds, it'll add a foot roughly, you know, not quite because they're turned in, but uh, yeah, they seem to work really well. Um, we'll get them put in there and get the holes drilled and see where they need to go from there. There's not Well, we got the plow rubber. Um, I ordered it off eBay. It's here now. I really wish I would have got the one inch wide, but for some reason I bought the one and a half inch wide and it is some serious overkill as far as thickness of rubber for a, a wing scraper, but uh, anyway, uh, for now I got the plow on the truck, 
as you can see. I wanted to put the plow on the truck so that the plow is sitting at the angle that it is going to be very close to sitting when I put these plow wings on. Uh, 10 by 12 inch chunks of rubber uh, for the scrapers. Like I said, it's uh, really damn thick and it ain't going to cut her in half, that's for sure. So I guess we're just going to use it because I'm certainly not going to buy another pair. But uh, we'll get that in there. I'm going to drill the back side of this wing, put the bolts through. I'm going to put six bolts. Um, I've done it before where the pro wings had just the bolts on the bottom and then it would flex and then snow would pack in behind here and then the wing would sit like this. So I'm going to make sure and put a top and bottom all the way through on both sides. So, But I th think what I'm going to do, I don't know how this is going to work. You can see that this rubber does, it, it's so goddamn thick that, you know, it leaves that gap. And I'm just going to take my, uh, my skill saw. I don't know how it's going to cut this rubber. But I'm going to try to cut this at an angle like this here. And I'm hoping that it will kind of go in this little gap a little bit more to kind of, so I don't have a space here. It doesn't much matter. I mean, a space that small isn't going to do anything anyway. But, uh, you know, what the hell. Might as well we're this far, so... So yeah, that's it. Well, I'm going to try to cut that off, and then uh, we'll put them on. Well, cutting those with the saw seemed to work really well. Um, throw some JB-80 on there, she'll lock up on the rubber. And well, the project is complete. Um, got the rubber on, cut it at an angle. The wings fit in nice. Um, I didn't get enough bolts for some reason, so I'll have to get some more. But, got it all together, I'm happy with it, looks good, and I'm going to show you guys real quick um, how them wings come in and out before I go, and, but here's how it looks, uh, there's the front, and I got to add more bolts in each, you know, two more there, and the same deal on that side, but, you know, there's, uh, yeah, I'll look down on it once, you can see, well, let's put the plow down get a better idea okay there's a good view of the back um, they look good and sharp on there I mean they, they don't look like shit or anything so there's the scoop and when you look straight down on it you can see how much that sticks out from the actual cutting edge of the of the of the plow itself, you know, from here to here. So that's, you know, when you get out that far and start holding snow, I mean, it's going to come way out. But, yep, yeah, there's the other side. You can see see that angle I cut in there a little better now. We got some better light. So it fits right in there, fills up the gap. Uh, kind of the same deal. This is just square tubing. One thing I learned on this, um, you know, square tubing works really well. If a guy wants to make the job a little easier, you might want to put round tubing. It makes it easier for going in. I loaded these up with grease inside of here so that the, the wing doesn't freeze in there. Um, painted up with uh, Case uh, IH tractor implement paint, old 55. It's got to be really close to the factory color because it looks pretty good. Um, we'll pick it up here a sec. And pull the wing out. Because you have grease in here, this uh, it slides nice. I mean, you can see how nicely that wing will slides in and out like that. But to remove, you know, you just pull it out and throw the wing in the back of the truck. You want her back in. Line up the holes. Shove it in. Very nice system. Works really well. Um, drill a hole. Put a pin in this receiver. You really only need one pin. That's it.